sake of the video, can you tell everyone what's your experience before this and what search you have and and basically how did you get this job? Basically, because people want to know that. The people have been asking me about that. Okay, well, um, I graduated last year with a computer science. Um, I I have been searching and pretty much put my resume in, in all of the websites, basically. Uh, Indeed, Glassdoor, Dice, LinkedIn, everything. And um, I noticed, a, uh, like, here and there, there will be some... Um, uh, headhunters, recruiters contacting me, but not at the rate or at the pace that I thought it, sh it should have been given I had a, a computer science graduate uh, uh, degree, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And and I started reading um, on, on, on what to do, on how to get an interview, on how to be more visible. I realized when I saw, uh, uh, when I was searching on YouTube, I ran in, in in a few of your into a few of your videos and and that's when i realized that i was doing like things wrong that i wasn't prepared that if i wanted to do this and i wanted to be exposed i needed to start from the bottom and uh, fix my resume uh, uh, make it more visible and appealing to, uh, for the recruiters to see me when they run these searches that you explained um, that my main skills and the things that i really need are the ones that are coming up um, that if I put something down and I saw job descriptions, uh, how do I put that in my resume? How do I get exposed to it? By looking at your videos and seeing how to set up a, a terminal, a, a virtual machine and, and, and uh, installing servers, I, I was able to get a little bit of experience that I at least knew what it was and how to, how to go over little things that I didn't know before. Just because you have a computer science degree, or, or you think if you can say something that you've done, if, if you don't, if you lie, like, they will tell you, they will tell you right away. Like there are things like sometimes you, the samples, the little, the little examples that you've done on videos about a, a sample call to open a ticket and to just to run customer service and, and to, and to do, and to take care of our customers that have been asking interview questions to me. How would you deal with this kind of situation? How would you change, like, you've done password changes and things like that in samples that have been asked in most of my interviews, little things like that. They, they really go to, they go really, they just want to think about, they just want to see how you think. But if you really, if it doesn't make sense to you and if you really don't practice or at least look at it or have some sense of what it is, you won't be able to connect. But they'll ask you the questions. Do you know this? And you can say yes. But they'll come back right at you and say, for example, how would you change a password? Just describe it to me. Where would you click? I didn't know those things until I started looking at your field. <laughs> and I was like, I, I know how to, but I don't know how to exp how to say it. Well, if you've done it, you should know. And that was and honestly, that was one of the, that's, uh, just like that was one of the questions that, that came up in the interview. Just, just describe how you would change a password on a user that calls you with an app password issue. And just looking at one of your videos, I was like, oh, okay, you go into users, you right click, or you can search for this user like this, and that's how you quickly do it. And this is how we do this, and this is how we do that. They, it's, 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 it took a little while, man, to just, applying taking time to apply it's, it's it's a full job it's a full-time job just to apply for these positions but at the end you st you start look seeing the results people start um noticing and you can still you can see through your through your emails just the matches and people contacting you I, it was automatic as soon as i changed my resume and you told me how to how to put things and skills and add this and that to the resume to the resume, I was able to see right away. I was getting hits on my on my email from recruiters and companies that I was applying to that weren't responding. They were actually like a week or two later. They were they were actually replying. Would you like to meet for would you like to come in for an interview? This and that, and it it was a little process because there's a lot of people applying. I would walk into interviews with three other people waiting to interview for the same job, and and. 
and you have got to stay positive. You have got to stay in the best of, you gotta know how to, to be humble and still be assertive, still be, be hungry for, for what it is that you want because you might just think that you did very good and then you hear that they're gonna pay you 15, 16, $17 an hour. And then you have to really stay on top of your game and, and, and know, okay, I'm not worth this. I, I can't, no, I'm gonna pass on this. And you have, you gotta know where to start because you could actually dig a hole by being so desperate. But um, but it's it's been it's been a journey. It's been a journey for the last I would say eight nine months, and 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 to be and the honest truth is that just just by researching and looking and and this is just the beginning, just by like asking questions and when 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 you don't understand something you don't have to be even employed. Like I found you online and you were able to actually connect and. I remember it was the day of your birthday, not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, last month. <laughs> you, you reply and you told me, no, you, you should do this. You should modify your resume to do to show this and to show that. Mm -hmm. And and I right away went ahead and did it and 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 got on the computer. I I remember that that I was running on sixty um gigs memory and you you mentioned you were running your for an example that you did for a demonstration, you were run, running your 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 servers in some um, uh, workstations with 32 gigabytes memory, and mm -hmm. I'm like, that's why I can't run anything on my computer. <laughs> 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 I try to play with virtual with, uh, with with virtual machines, and I cannot even run two at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and invest. You gotta invest on 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 the things that you want. I went and, and bought extra memory. Uh, got the computer to work and start and kept on practicing the little things like like uh, ticketing system. I didn't know anything about ticketing system because I never been exposed to. By just looking, listening to your video and you were talking about Jira and how it works and did a little demonstration, mm -hmm. I had something to talk about. Now I had at least substance to to talk about in an interview. And even though I'm using ConnectWise now, and they know I don't know anything, they at least know that I know what a structure of ticketing is and how it works and how, what you have to do. They connect it with your personality and what, what customer service is all about. And they see something in you now that you can actually, um, that they can familiarize with you at a different level, you know? And and I'm so thankful, man, and and, and I hope that if I can pay you, God, God will continue blessing you somewhere or another for all the <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't ask for money, man. I just, I just ask you to give me your blessings, and I ask you to continue learning. That's all I care about. I don't care about money. That's thank you the... so, thank you so much. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions if you don't mind. These are, these are questions that have been asked to me to ask you since you started your first week working there. If you don't mind, if you can answer these questions, obviously these questions are not going to be like, you know, don't talk about your company, but tell me like, just answer it the way you would answer it. So mm -hmm. if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Go ahead. Um, uh, so what was the first thing you did in day one of your job? Someone was asking me that. Onboarding was basically HR. Um, going through, um, I remember I even took pictures and I told you, this is what we're doing first one. Uh, it was actually um, a PowerPoint presentation go, going over the, the business structure, basically the president, the manager, the team, uh, who are our clients, uh, how we basically do things. And, and it was just, um, we even look at the, we even look at a, a few videos on, on YouTube about um, I don't know if you read the book, Who Moved My Cheese? Um, it's a very popular book and they have a video okay. mm -hmm. um, on YouTube that actually show, demonstrate two people that are like, one is very passive and the other one is very proactive and they want to like, kind of want to see where, they ask you, where do you, where do you think, which one of the two you, you kind of like can be can familiarized with? just to see where you're standing for you to see that, you know, you have to go out and get it. You have to, you have to have that mentality of, of not just because you got here, you're all set. Like there is more out there for you to get and 